Hey guys, me again with another YouTube video, and today we're going to be taking a look at number 18 of my LDD tips, tutorials, and any tricks that you might need to know to make your adventure with LDD a lot smoother and simpler. Uh, so today we're going to be going down to the fifth tool in our line of tools, and it's this tool right here, the pipe that's bent, and it is called the... Uh, actually don't know. I call it the pipe tool. Some other people probably call it something else. Um, so let's uh, scroll down. It's called the flex tool. So today we're going to be taking a look at the flex tool and its use in our LDD building. So the most basic use for a flex tool is bending pipes. And it sounds exciting, I know. But it's actually kind of cool how it works. Um, so I need to make this very clear. Over here on the brick pallet, I'm just going to go ahead and make it bigger. You see these little loops next to these pieces in the pipe section. And uh, some people might think that they're for breast cancer or something, but uh, no. Um, that was just a joke, by the way. Um, the pipes with the loops next to them are the only pipes that you can actually bend. So if I grab a pipe without a loop next to it, you can't actually bend it. So that will save you guys a lot of frustration um, when it comes to this. But anyhow, basically how it works is you're going to go ahead and select your pipe, place it where you want, and then using the flex tool, you're going to click on the stud, and you're going to move your pointer over to the other stud, and it will automatically connect like so. You know it will work when you get a green box. So as you can see, we got our tube stretched over to where it should be. Now then, if you guys want to kind of move it around just a little bit, you can move your mouse up, and then kind of come down up on top. Oop, I don't know what's going on. Oh god, I think I broke it. It depends on mouse movement of how the uh, actual pipe is going to move though. So as you can see, it's kind of wobbled up now, whereas last time it was simply curved over. Like I said, it all depends on how you move the mouse and which stud you put it on. So that would make a nice sling mount, actually, now that I think about it. So, uh, like, if I come o kind of behind it and then over top of it... This pipe isn't long enough. So if I go kind of behind it and then... Come on. What if I... Basically, the tool works because the pipe follows your mouse. So wherever you click on the pipe, it will follow your mouse. And then if you have both uh, studs in place where you want them, you can click on the pipe once more and start moving it around in whatever direction you want as well. And like I said, it only works for the pipes with the little ribbon next to them. So be very certain that you've clicked on that little ribbon, otherwise it won't work. And uh, it's kind of disappointing when that happens. Oh god, I crashed LDD. Shit. I know this chain bends. I just clicked on the chain that bent. Apparently chains don't bend. Never mind then. Um, it doesn't even have to be connected to a stud if you want something to move. Just go ahead and kind of click on it. Uh, the only disadvantage is that it'll just kind of free float around the screen if you don't have it connected to a stud. So kind of be careful. And then now you can kind of uh, keep moving it up. Seem kind of really far out. And now you have uh, just a random piece floating out in uh, midair. And uh, that actually means I've solved the problem. Uh, there was a person earlier on in the comments down to do 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 Hmm. 
Hmm. I didn't know they had another video uploader. Should watch that then. Colin uh, asked a question about a few things. A few things. Sorry, Colin. I don't know how to pronounce your last name, uh, so if you'll forgive me for that. Uh, but he asked something about stacking bricks and leaving one floating in midair and how he could do that. Well, considering this brick is floating in midair, I believe this would be an easier way than just stacking them and deleting them from below. So. Colin, if you're watching this video, this might help you. If not, I apologize and uh, just stick to stacking the bricks on top of each other and then deleting the ones below. Uh, if you want, you can kind of do it something like this. Doesn't have to be pretty. And then when you get to the top, make it a different color and then color select everything and just delete it. And then you'll have a random floating block there. Um, the only bad thing about this is do not select this block because here's what happens. It moves down to the bottom because there's no stud down on the bottom. So uh, just be careful of that. Uh, to prevent this, of course, put one stud down here. And then this... Hmm, that trick doesn't work anymore. Never mind then. Just don't select the studs and move it around because it won't work. Uh, anyhow... So that's pretty much it for this tool. Like I said, it's just a pipe bending tool. And it's a pretty neat feature to add to your mocks because it's not every day you see mocks with uh, pipes in them. Um, so go ahead and just kind of play with, play around with it. It's kind of fun sometimes. And uh, it'll make you chuckle once or twice. And um, it's kind of like your own pet following you around. Um, it's just something to add on to your mocks to give them a little bit more depth. Um, any wiring that you need to do, tubing kind of just this correlated pipe looking piece uh, to give any water hoses a look or e exhaust hoses or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, remember to comment right and subscribe for more videos like this one. And in the next video, we should be taking a look at the paint bucket tool, one of my personal favorite tools and one of the easiest ones to use in this. And uh, there's some really cool things that you can do with that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and back up. If you guys have any spare time, don't be afraid to take a look at my website at bluejaythemeister.weebly.com. There will be a link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.